everybody. I am going to walk through how to do long division. Uh, so we know that the two division questions are either if I have five groups, how many things will go in each group? Or if I make groups of five, how many groups can I make out of this much? So in long division, we start and we go one number at a time. We ignore the other numbers that we are not there to get. So this question is, how many times does five fit into five? Well, five fits into five one time. One times five is five. So I subtract five. Five minus five is zero. I have nothing left over. Now you're going to hear people say like dad, mother, sister, brother, or does McDonald's serve burgers? These are the steps of division. So the five, let's see if that helps a little bit. Um, we first divided, we said five goes into five one time. We multiplied one times five is five. Then we subtracted five. And now we're at our next step, which is to bring down the next number. In this case, the next number is four. So one of the biggest mistakes that kids make when they do this is they can't remember what number they're supposed to be dividing into. That's one of the common mistakes. You're always, whatever you got as the answer to your subtraction problem and the number you're bringing down, that's always your new target number. So now I'm gonna ask myself, how many times does five go into four? Well, five doesn't fit into four. It won't go in a whole time. So we put a zero. There's our divide, our multiply, zero times five is zero. Subtract, four minus zero is still four. And now we're at the B for bring down our next number. Our next number is a two. So again, now this is our target number that we're talking about. So divide, how many times does five go into 42? Well, I know my five is facts and five times eight is 40. That's close, but if I go to the next one, five times nine is 45, that's too high, that's over 42. So that doesn't work. So we go with five, um, five goes into 42 eight times. So there's my divide, my multiply, eight times five is 40, subtract, 42 minus 40 is 2, and bring down, here's my last number. Uh, I think I may have used, I'll have to use this color. Okay, my last number, so this is probably my last step, but I could have another one depending. So how many times, remember this is our new target number, how many times does five fit into 24? Well, five times four is 20. Five times five is 25, that's too big, so five fits into 24 four times. Multiply, four times five is 20. 24 minus 20 is four. Now I would bring down another number, but there's nothing left to bring down, so this is my remainder. So my answer was 1,084 remainder four. Now some of you may be looking for a challenge or you may already know this, but we can, um, I'm just going to say this for those of you that are interested in hearing more, that we can get this into a decimal by just adding a decimal point after these and then we add zeros. So now I bring down a zero and I say, how many times does five fit into our new target number 40? Five fits into 40 eight times, because eight times five is 40. Eight times five is 40, so I write down 40. 40 minus 40 is zero. There's nothing left to bring down, so now I'm done. So another possible way to express the answer to this is 1,084 and eight tenths. And that is an example of long division.